Howdy folks. <laughs> Little John again. I'll tell you, I'm liking this um, half days of work at the moment. Gives me time to do a bit of things. But anyway, um, get ready for Chrissy. Uh, and I wasn't sure where to, where, to, where to put this video. I didn't know whether I should put this in the whiskey jar or just under the brew channel. But it's just, it's just I'm gonna, I'm gonna, just gonna leave it running gently on the channel. Um, I think sometimes things put under the whiskey jar misses a lot of the beer brewers. Um, now, this isn't beer related specifically, but it's, it ties on from the video uh, from yesterday. We've been getting the taps ready in the fridge for, the, for Christmas. Um, I was talking about putting the, the six tap on there because I didn't have six taps of beer. And I was going to do a keg of bourbon and coke, and then I couldn't get the last tap into the keg, into the fridge, due to a problem with the shank. So I've only got the five taps on the on the on the fridge, each running a, each running a beer, which I was happy with. Yeah, but oh well, no worries. Before I get on with what I'm doing today, shout out to the patrons, the little John, cheers guys. Uh, and also to those who subscribe to the channel, thank you very much. Uh, helps me out, keeps keeps us going. Uh, there's information, there's a link in the uh, description down below. Takes you through to Patreon, will tell you what it's about, you know, if you're interested in, uh, in what's involved with that. But what I'm doing today is I thought about it and it... I thought about it yesterday, and um, I didn't think too much of it. Over and over, I sort of thought about it. I went, okay, no, I'm definitely going to go ahead with it. I've got my picnic tap. Well, I've got two picnic taps, but anyway, I've got the picnic tap, which is already hooked up with a with a beer disconnect, which I use for taking samples from the pressure fermenter, from the all rounder, um, while I'm fermenting in it. Um, which means I've got a tap for for the sixth keg. So, I think, but well, why don't I just make the keg up and I'll just sit the picnic tap in the fridge. Um, it's not ideal and I'd prefer not to have to open the fridge too much, but there's not a lot of, not a lot of, not, not, not a lot of spirit drinkers in the family, especially over Christmas, but I think it'll work nice for me, I won't have to muck around bloody stuffing around and get behind the bar and pull the bottle out and mix it, I just jump in the fridge and bang. And at the end of the day, I'll probably have to go in that fridge anyway to get my coat, because that's where I'm going to hide it. Um, so, I'm in. I'm doing it up. So, 9 litre keg got sitting here. He's all sanitised, ready to go. This is the keg I was going to do yesterday. So, it was already to go. So, no problem there. Uh, and, I'm just going to mix up. I've just bought a jar of the Pepsi Soda Stream mix. Going to keep it simple. Um, I tend to prefer... Pepsi over Coke with my mixing. Um, I prefer Coke if I'm drinking it straight. I don't drink a lot of cola generally. Um, but yeah, I prefer Coke when I'm drinking it. But we, as a mixer, I find the Pepsi is just, it's a, oh, I don't know, I think it's a little bit sweeter. I think it just works a bit nice. But anyway, um, I do, I've always preferred Schweppes Cola, but it's, you can't get it anymore. I think, um, LA Ice, I think, is a um, cheaper version. And it's, I actually probably would prefer LA Ice over anything um, as, as a mixer. But I'm going, with, going to go with this. So, standard recipe mix for bourbon and cake. So, pub, like pub strength. So, you just go to the club, you go and order a you know, bourbon and cake or a scotch and cake, rum and cake, whatever it is. It's generally... One part whiskey, five part, five part mixer. So 30 mils of your whiskey to 150 mils of your mixer, and it's topped up with ice. Uh, it's normally about a 220, I think about a 225 mil glass that they normally serve it in, um, somewhere around there, uh, which allows room for your ice. So that means. 
9 litre keg, you need 1.5 litres of spirit to 7.5 litres of coke. So you need two, two bottles, or two old school bottles, now they're 700ml, you actually need more than two bottles, but it's around that mark. So it's a fair, I mean, that's a fair whack of spirit to just go through, and I haven't got just full bottles laying around, I wasn't going to buy any. So what I've decided to do, I'm going to go through and just get rid of some of the tail ends of bottles that I've got in the collection, um, a couple that I'm not a great fan of, and I'm just going to go through and top them up and fill me one and a half litres as just a bit of a mixture, uh, which doesn't worry me at all, it's like a blend. Uh, I used to do it years ago when I was a young bloke when we, me, me, me and the missus were first married. I used to have an old Jack Daniels um, ceramic porcelain bloody stone earthenware bloody jug which held about four and a half litres. Um, had a little brass tap on the bottom with the JD's label on them. Everyone knows the bloody things I'm talking about. Well, anyone who's older than bloody 20 certainly would anyway. Um, and I used to just fill that with all sorts, four and a half, I used to have that bloody full all the time, um, and just take me, you know, nip off that. So it's the same sort of thing, so I'm not too worried about that, um, I'm happy to do it. So I'm going to mix that up, but I need to grab a, a funnel, which I've got hiding over here. So, got this bottle, this is a 750ml bottle which I was using as, this was my the, um, infinity bottle uh, which basically when you get down to the last little bits in the bottle they go into that, so it's the same sort of thing, this is, this is a, a blend already um, so I'm just going to use this as a rough, rough measure and so we'll just start off going, that's it, you know only a little, yeah, not a lot left in there. Woodford's Reserve, I'm not a great fan of the Woodford's. Um, uh, can, clear the, uh, can clear the bar a little bit. Um, and also, <laughs> double bonus will be, I'll be able to then go out and buy a bit more stuff. Okay, uh, a bit of, uh, bit of the bullet rye. Not a lot of that left. Well, a little bit extra rye in. Um, yeah, thought about, keep, thought about keeping that, but not a bad drop. It doesn't work too bad in a um, old fashioned, but um, I'd probably, probably time to buy myself a nice a new rye. Uh, Cougar Black, which is a little bit stronger, I'll have to uh, proof a little bit. I won't use all of what's in there, I don't mind. I'll keep a bit of that. Yep. And I can drain a couple of bigger bottles, which I'm not a big fan of. The Hogs Free, not a not a great fan. Doesn't mix too bad, but yeah, I'm not bloody not real fast on it. So, should be on her. There we go, we shut her in. Hey, little John, the mixologist. What a way to spend a Friday afternoon. Bloody Friday afternoon. I can't have a drink, I've got to go, I've got a Christmas party tonight and I'm driving and the missus has got a party on as well. Work Christmas parties. So I've got to drive, so I'll have a couple of beers while I'm there, but it means I can't have any drinks to Savo. So it's a dry Friday. This is a hard to... I'll have, a, I'll have a taster of this when we're done. Um, I might get completely dry. Uh, got a bit of Rollins. To get in itself, isn't a terrible, isn't a bad drop. But fantastic, so we can ditch, ditch a whack of that. Uh -huh, I might get Not worth keeping that, I don't think. So, get that in there. 
And we'll finish off with a little bit of the Jack Daniels white label. I'll pull things back a little bit. It's a nice, this is a nice drop. I'm not going to use all of this. I want to keep some because I don't mind the buddy. This is a good drop for um, when I'm having people around, but you playing around with a little bit of introduction to whiskey um, when you're playing around with um, straight stuff. This is a really good point to start someone with as a as an opener because it's quite tame, quite mellow, hasn't got a lot of go in it. It's good to keep around, and I don't mind that. And we're making a strong one. It's really good for making double and triples. A bit weak for us. A bit weak for a single on its own. But anyway, I uh, tend to drink them a little bit stronger. But this one's just going to be normal pub strength. I mean, if it really comes to it, you can stick an extra bloody, extra nip in it without too much issue. But, alright. And now comes, we get a little bit scientific here. This bottle makes enough It only makes enough if you can open it Interesting part of it You can't open bloody stuff and you don't get to use it Anyway This bottle makes 9 litres Now I'm going for 9 litres total So I actually only need seven and a half litres of cola. So I've worked it out and it tells me I need 366 mils. This is 440 mils. I need 366. So okay, tastes like cola. So we'll measure up 366ml from here, drop it in there, that's 100, keep a count for me, well I'm bloody terrible at keeping a count, that's a little bit crazy but anyway. Let's call that about 220. Twenty. So, what about another fifty? Right. It gets us around about three seventy, which I think will be a nice amount. And one thing I've noticed with this Pepsi, and one thing as I, um, I sort of like, is that it doesn't have a lot of sugar. It's got nowhere near the amount of sugar of um, the real drink. You know, it's not, they're not labelling it as light or as a gave diet or anything. It's, lit, it's basically it's full strength. But tell me that per serving, it's only got 34 calories and 8 grams of sugar so a teaspoon and a half of sugar in 250 or so eight, it's only around, yeah, like 5 grams one teaspoon of sugar uh, in, a normal, in a standard glass so I'm pretty happy with that I think that's really good certainly a lot less than what you get if you're drinking just normal stuff straight out of the uh, you know, straight from the bottle so I think that's a a little bit of an advantage of doing it this way. So my mass tells me that I need 7.14 litres of water to get this to 9 litres. 1.25 litre bottle, so 6 of those will be 6 is 7 and a half. So I want to use 
five bottles and most of the last one. And we'll just, I'll, I'm just going to eyeball the last one. I don't think I need to. I'm not going to worry about measuring it particularly. Um, you know, 15, 20 mil one way or another is not going to make a lot of difference. And once this mixing powder comes to it, I can rip the lid off, I can put extra water in, I can drop a little bit extra um, syrup in if need be. Um, main thing is that I uh, <laughs> hope I'm not making a nine litres of you know, sickly drink that's not going to be enjoyable. Because if I do, I'll just throw away bloody uh, 80, 80 bucks worth of them. Christmas. So it'll get drunk, don't worry about that. It won't go to waste. Um, certainly not people who will drink it. I'm starting to smell like bourbon and coke coming out here anyway. I'm going to top this up. I'm going to pop the lid on. Burp the keg. And then I'm going to uh, force carve it and take just a small sample and see how she goes. A bit of gas in there just to force the oxygen out. I'm just going to give this the old rock and roll. Force that gas in there. The old force card, which I don't like to do with beer, but I've got no problem doing it with bloody this. No worries at all. I'm just going to say. Gas bubbling into the keg. Crank it up, I'm gonna get up and out. Alright, got that 30 psi. And I'm just gonna rock this for a little bit. So this is just exactly the same as what you do with you're forced carving the keg. Uh, said I don't like to do this with beer, but I don't have to. Uh, I've got no problem here because I'm not worried about, I'm not worried about over carving this because I'm not going to shoot a bloody massive head everywhere and lose me all my beer if it is over carved. Um, it's going to take far more carbonation than, than beer will anyway. Um, 
end of the day, it's going to sit on the keg. It's going to sit in the fridge. It's only going to get the same 12 psi, you know, that the rest of the kegs are getting. So it's probably going to be a little bit light on the on the fizz. But it's all good. No matter. By the time you bloody four drinks into a bloody bottle of coke, it's lost its gas anyway. So at least this will be the same from one keg, one glass to the next. This obviously isn't going to be real cold. The bloody water's only out of the uh, out of the tap. Well, so it'll be enough to get an idea of what she tastes like and whether I need to make any adjustments. But I think she should be good. Pressure off. All good. Take that off. Now, I'll grab a grab a glass. Up a chunk of ice. Picnic tap. Not be confused with a picnic basket. Well, honestly, I think the Aggie bear would be pretty impressed. This is smarter than the average bear. Alright. We're good to go. So, see how she looks. She's a bit busy at the moment. That's all good. I'll set all quick in, quick enough. That's all good, the body will cool down and soak all that up. It's more like a Kalura milk at the moment. Anyway. That's it. Do -do 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 -do. Oh, I'm gonna get myself in the mud on the air and cause a bloody cause a bloody cause an injury. Moving out of control. Anyway, there she is. Bourbon and Coke. That tastes all right. Definitely, I think once it's um, once it's cold, it actually takes up a bit more gas. It's still a bit light on because uh, because it, it is warm. It hasn't really taken the gas on great. But anyway, um, give it um, give it some time on the gas in the fridge, and I think that's going to be bloody drinking absolutely fine by uh, Christmas Day. So there you go. We do have. Six, 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 six taps running for Christmas, um, as per plan, just in a slightly different way than what was, uh, what the original plan was. But hey, what's brewing if you can't can't change your uh, direction along the way and uh, you know change things up and make you end up with a different result than what you started off at? Uh, that's nothing new. It's what we do. But anyway. 
all done. As always, cheers and thank you to the Patreons, the subscribers. Uh, if you aren't subscribed, hit the button down there in the corner. Hit the like button if you like what's going on. Comments and questions down the bottom if you have any. But other than that, as always, little John. Do I see you next time? We're uh, brewing beer, talking beer, drinking bourbon. Good brewing. Cheese.